Hopefully now you have a better idea of the tools you have available and are feeling encouraged to learn how to use them. I'm reasonably sure you feel like you're standing there with your bag of tools, staring at a decrepit old apartment building and wondering what difference you can make. After all, the place is huge, it's a mess, and the vast majority of the tenants either won't do a thing or are actively trying to destroy the place. What can one person do in the face of such opposition? Don't miss the forest for the trees. Yes, the United States is a gigantic mess with hundreds of millions of people and 50 different states, all with their own agendas. You don't have to fix the United States, though. All you have to do is make your neighborhood better. That decrepit and messed up apartment building is made up of apartments, just as the United States is made up of individual states. Each of those apartments is made up of different rooms, just as the states are made up of counties, cities, and towns. So before you go trying to fix the United States, even before you try to fix your own state, clean up your county, city, or town. Start by voting for representatives who understand the oath they will take to support the Constitution of your state into the United States. Many of them will not have studied these constitutions, so help them. Point out their oaths, what the Constitution actually says, and your expectation that they fulfill their oath. If they don't, make sure the political backlash is both constitutionally sound and very, very public. To do that, you'll also need to help your neighbors understand the Constitution and the consequences of ignoring it. That way, when your elected representatives screw up, and they will, it's not just you pushing back, but hopefully a growing number of your neighbors. As those elected officials start looking at statewide offices, make sure they know you will hold them to their oaths just as firmly at the state level as you did at the local level. As more and more people across your state see the benefit of using the tools we have to keep our governments in check, they'll start learning to use these tools as well, and your state will not only be more constitutional, but freer. As this message spreads across the states, they will become more constitutionally sound as well, and Washington, D.C. will become less important. After all, according to the Supreme Law of the Land, there's actually very little the federal government can legally do.